Leonard Fournette made his NFL debut last week in the Jaguars' preseason win against the Patriots. The number four overall pick finished with 31 rushing yards and a touchdown. After the game, Fournette talked about the pace of the NFL, saying, it's a lot slower than I really thought. That's how I've been since I first got into the NFL. A lot of people were like, it's going to be fast. By me playing in the sec that kind of helped me, SEC, that kind of helped me a lot. I think to me it was really easy. Shannon, do you have a problem with Fournette saying this? I don't have a problem with what he said, Skip. I don't believe he believes that. Skip, he played in a preseason game. Everybody, everybody that's come at this desk, and I played 14 years. I was very fortunate enough to play 14 years. I know there's a different speed between preseason and regular season. And this was the preseason. I can see, Skip, if he had not game one. game one. I can see if he had nine for a buck 15, two touchdowns, played like two series. I'm like, oh, Larry, for that's on to something. Dude. You had nine carries for 31 yards and a touchdown, and now all of a sudden you Jim Brown. This is what I'm going to like to tell Mr. Leonard Fournette. Leonard, there are more te NFL teams that have a defense like Alabama than Vanderbilt. And let me, uh, That's a bad analogy. Not a great you, you do not understand. We play really good defense, one and, of the better and, ones. And in three bad games analogy. against Alabama, Leonard Fournette averaged 48 yards a carry, 2.5 yards, no, 48 yards a game, mm -hmm. 2.5 yards a carry. Yep. Last year, his team did not score. And since you want to equate this to college, just so you know, the Jacksonville Jaguars are everybody's homecoming. That is correct. <laughs> so here's another stat for young Mr. Fournette. The New England Patriots in game number one of the season held out 40 of 90 players currently in their camp. 40. The Steelers held out the second highest, 24, Cowboys 21, Raiders 20. So 40 players were, on the, uh, were not on the field who will probably make the 53-man exactly. roster. So that means maybe 13 players that were on the field will make the 53, and those will be mostly special teams players. And right? of those 13, Skip, I guarantee you all 13 of them didn't play defense, so right. you probably had you five split on the it up? Exactly. Yeah. So... I have no idea what he's <laughs> talking about, and this is exactly why I told you before the draft I had fallen out of love with Leonard Fournette. I used to love him. I've told this story before. Les Miles loved him coming out of high school, said he is Jordan-esque in his intangibles, and I bought it and took it to the bank, and unfortunately for Les, he's no longer the coach at LSU because Leonard couldn't save his job because Leonard ran wild against Syracuse and Eastern Michigan and Texas Tech. But as you point out, Bama said no. He could not impose his will on Alabama, the same Alabama that Zeke Elliott ran wild against in the national semifinal game. This is not a Zeke. This is Leonard Fournette. Well, let's just compare. Zeke went for 230 yards on only 20 carries against the same Bama defense that shut down Leonard Fournette. That's a bad sign. As you point out, the NFL is full of Alabama. Yes. Full of them. So, I, look, I never – I'm just going to say this one more time. The best running back in the draft I got to see in his game, number one, and I was impressed. I'm going to say it again. Joe Mixon was the best player in the draft at that position, right. running it and catching it. And he – Leonard went nine for 31. He went six for 31, caught another pass for 11 yards. And you saw speed and power and hands – that are rare, and I cannot defend Joe Mixon's character. He's a risk, right. obviously, for what Correct. transpired. But by all accounts, he's been a model citizen for the most part since. He had one traffic violation thing on campus, but whatever. I, I think they made a steal of a pick for the Bengals, and I think he's going to change the Bengals' lives. But I'm not so sure about Leonard Fournette changing Jacksonville's life because I don't know, can he impose his will on a defense? And by the way, he's already... Hurt. hurt. He's Skip, got a foot he hurt injury. already. What? So he always me... had something going on at LSU. So what I would like to ask Mr. Fournette is that of all those players that you played against in the SEC, how many of them will be in the NFL? Because I can I can attest to you, tell you this for certainty. When you line up that first Sunday, every last one of those guys are in the NFL. Every guy that you played against at Alabama is not in the NFL. Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Texas a &M, this is the best of the best. So if you th 
Okay, I, I get it. I mean, he, he looks like a grown man. He does. He probably want to go run like, but Skip, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Oh, they gonna, they, he's in for a rude, rude mm-hmm. awakening. Yep. Game one, and you say it's easy? Skip, of a preseason what? game in which the team held out 40, 40 of the guys that's going to make their opening day roster. <laughs> There's only 13 more spots. But when you narrow it down, Skip, that's practice squad also. So you only got six guys yep. that didn't play that's going to make the roster. And he talking about, oh, I ran through them. Oh, I, oh, this is easy. It's the... <laughs> I, saw, <laughs> I, I, I saw a great video, I think it was on the NFL Network, before that preseason game, yeah. Jacksonville versus New England. And a lot of the Patriots starters were coming off the practice field like an hour before game time. Yeah. And they'd gone through a grueling practice yeah. workout, and they were dripping with sweat. Yeah. All the stars yeah. in a row came walking yeah. through. And then I guess they all went in. Got something to eat, took a shower, put their game uniforms on, yeah. and went and stood on the sideline, right? Skip, does he know that in practice that his guys are not really trying to, like, tackle him like they would a running back in a regular season game? Does he get that? They're like his teammates, and they don't want to hurt the guy that they – what, the fourth, the fourth the fourth, or the sixth pick in the draft? Mm. They, does, he get, does he get that? Like, the defense that he's going against daily, they're his teammates. And they're not trying to impose their will on him like they're going to do, say, Henry or uh, Murray from Mm -hmm. Tennessee or Blue. Mm. And he's just one game, nine carries, 31 yards, a touchdown. Oh, man, this thing easy. Mm. Oh, he's Jim Brown now. Mm. He's also playing for the Jaguars. And even though they have assembled some talent on the defensive side. They've always had talent. They have had talent. But there is a losing mentality. And if it goes south quickly because the quarterback, is shaky at best. Watch what will happen. He's going to get sort of sucked down the vortex yeah. of this loser's mentality, and he's not going to have a happy first year. I, Skip, I know a thing about uh, uh, homecomings. Because when I first got you know? to Savannah State, we go on the road. I mean, it's opening week. I'm like, who has a homecoming opening week in August? The end of August, we play a homecoming. I'm like, who who does that? Your team was the homecoming. Yeah, we right? everybody's homecoming. Wow. But you know, old number two, old Deuce. I put a stop to that. Two? That was my number in college. Why I, was it two? Because my brother had two. Really? Aww. He had Aww. three in high school. I had three. Aww. He had two. I had two. He had eighty four. I had eighty four. Actually, yeah. I did the same thing. But I put a, three. I put a stop to that. I bet ain't nobody else want to play us on homecoming. Huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You put a stop. I did put you a, win that game? Yeah, no. we won. I lost, won? One, I lost one homecoming game. Really? Yeah. Two. But I lost the state. Valdosta. But I cooked them. They beat us, but I beat them. Really? Yeah, 10 for a buck 32. And didn't go until the seventh round. I don't know how that happened. Oh, I got you oh, keeping, keeping track of individual stats. Oh, Morehouse? Mm-hmm. Oh, Morehouse. I cooked them. Morehouse. Five for 135 and three tubs. Okay. Yeah. Well. Young Leonard will learn a thing or two about uh, bulletin board material after this week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Who did they play opening week? 